Welcome to the Arab boat that James built. Thanks for joining me on the boat again. Well, this is part three and hopefully the final part of the bathroom bulkhead. Um, on the last video, you'd have seen that I made the, well, I finished off making the frame and then I made the template using this, well, this is the template here, uh, using this nine mil ply off cuts. Um, so I'm going to go to the workshop now and offer that up and uh, cut it off the board. Um, but before I do that, um, I'll just show you about the ceiling. So I've put that um, stretch of beam up here on the ceiling um, just to give an idea as to where the bulkhead wall needs to extend at the ceiling line. You'll see if I did it, if I followed the line of the batten, I'd be fine here, no problem at all. But here, as it starts to raise in the middle, this here is the problem area. So what I basically need to do is cut the top of the um, sheet in the same kind of thing as this one here. I need to follow that line basically. So I'm not gonna scribe it as such uh, because that's a bit of a palaver. Um, but in the same way, this bit here, the highest point of the wall is going to be here not here, which is the actual highest point of the structure. So um, you'll see it kind of digs into the wall. So it looks a bit odd at the moment, but I'm hoping once the wall's in and the ceiling's in, you're gonna, obviously all of that's gonna be covered up. But it was important to put the ceiling in just to give an idea as to the void in which I need to deal with. Okay, so now the template's in place, what we can do is mark out the, mark out the points, mark out the angles, and then with the meter rule, I'll join them up and, they'll, and that'll provide me the lines that we need. So, that's that one there. This one here I can actually draw against. And I'm gonna extend the lines greater than what they are, just so, the, uh, the meter rule will give me the mark. Now mark off down here. And then up here at the top end, remember I need to leave that gap of about, well at the highest I need to extend it from the top of the template by about 20 mil. And if I bother, I should have worked it out properly, but I haven't. So I have to mark it out like this and then maybe do some trimming back on the boat. Now, I've got my point there, my point there, and my point there, and my point there. So this time I can take off the clamps. And this thing has served its purpose. That's it. Possibly redundant now. Okay. So now you've got your meter rule. And we know it goes from that point there down to that point there. Right. Okay, and then from there, it's straight across. straight up to there so it's this bit here I'm taking out and all of that you 
You'll see I'm taking this really slowly because I just want to get a good cut. And I've got a fine blade on here as well, which is giving me less splinters. There we have it, the bulkhead's cut out. Granted the top isn't quite ready, that needs some trimming still in the boat. So there it is, one bathroom bulkhead cut out. I'll reshape the top when I get on the boat, but that was fairly painless. So just before I put the bulkhead in, I'm just responding to a few comments made by uh, a few people on the last video about inserting a few diagonals. I've put them in. To be honest, it hasn't made much difference at all. Um, but um, anyway, it all helps. I'm now going to go and put a batten on that wall there and on the other side, so I've got something to fix the wall to. Right, so as you can see, I've put in a batten on this side here. So it's inside the wall. So when this sheet here comes up to here, obviously it can be affixed to the top and to the bottom, but it can also be affixed to the side here. And I've done the same, let me go through the wall, and I've done the same on that side there. So now, this is what the frame looks like. So I've got those extra ones on the side there. And I've put one, two, three, four diagonals in. And now the board is here. I've marked out the top bit of where it needs to be cut. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, there you go. There's the line. So there's the high point there, comes down there and then down here. And I put the ceiling batten on just to um, just to really give me a line and to check it. So I'm going to cut this out and see what it goes like. Okay, so I have done the trim at the top, which I needed to, and now it's a case of offering it up and seeing if it works.
it needs to be put in place a bit better. Uh, let me see if I've got a clamp. Okay. Well, all in all, I'd have to say I'm pretty happy with that. Now the test is going to be what happens when I put the ceiling piece in. perfectly and once I've got the bit of trim on there you're not going to see that little that that seam at all that's going to be seamless uh, yeah chuffed that gap there is going to be taken up with the wall and the cable conduit tray so there's going to be no gap there looks good on the floor not that you're going to see any of that because the dinette's going to be there it's really funny having a having a wall here hello yeah it's really odd but i'm happy that it's in line with the with this hatch yeah that yeah that was definitely the right option really sitting down here in the dinette-ish, this kind of height. Oh, that is superb. Yeah, I'm chuffed about that. And the bathroom, well, I mean, it was never gonna be spacious, was it? But it looks like it's gonna have enough room to get everything in it. Well, there we have it. I managed to get, well, most of it done. Um, Obviously, I still need to do the other side, so I need to take this board into the workshop tomorrow and cut the other one around that, basically use this as the template. But I'm really happy with how it's gone in. Um, I've never made a bulkhead before, saw how other people had done it and kind of took bits of approaches from different ideas. And here we go, it's in. I'm really happy with it. It's given a very different feel to the boat. Now I can kind of get a much better gauge for the natural light in the boat, well I certainly will tomorrow, uh, which will help me in working out the light positions. Not so much for the galley, but certainly for the dinette and obviously for the bathroom. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with how that's, uh, how that's worked out. But I don't want to leave you in suspense. I did say I got a delivery today, so I'm going to, I, I want to see what it is. Well, I know what it is, but I want to kind of read, read all about it and stuff. So it is the water pump. Here we go. So I thought I'd keep it all the same, all the watery system. So it's all, um, this is Jabsco again. So this is the uh, 2.9 water pressure pump. Uh, the idea is this takes the water from the tank um, through the strainer, obviously. Uh, it then yeah that, that's the pump that takes the water out and then it puts it in the accumulator tank and then we can drink it so it's this which is an important one so i'm glad i've got that it's a 12 volt one obviously so i can uh, get cracking once i get my new tank i can get cracking and installing all the water bits and pieces of which this is another one. Oh, it's a low amp drawer as well oh brilliant okay so Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been useful for you. I hope it's been informative. If you've got to make a bulkhead for yourself, I've obviously got to do some finishing on it tomorrow, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. But until then, um, thank you again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, look after yourselves. Speak to you soon. Bye.